<laughs> and we're not at a Red Sox game. Nope. Exactly. <laughs> that was a little sneak peek at a beautiful noise, the Neil Diamond musical. The production is coming to the Bushnell this week, I Absolutely, believe, right, yeah. Becky? October and, 1st. And it's leading the national tour directly from playing Neil Diamond on Broadway. Nick, Nick Fradiani. All right, it's the latest major. It's the latest major accomplishment from the 2015 American Idol winner, who's also a Connecticut native. Last week, Nicole and I got a chance to chat with Nick during his busy tour. Check this out. Nick, it's so Hi, great to Nick. see you. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh my God, did you ever think your life would be so much on Broadway? No, no, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, this was a. This definitely came as a surprise, in, in, you know, in my in my life, really. But it's been a. It's been amazing to to be able to have done this, and you know, I had such an amazing time on Broadway, and you know, obviously enough to want to go and do this for a year on the road. So uh, it's been it's been a special, uh, you know, part of my life, and I'm just thankful that I get to do it. I mean, what an amazing, uh, amazing role to have. And your voice, by the way, just in that clip, I mean, <clears throat> you bring so much to that role. What did you do to prepare for that? Um, you know, I listened to a lot of his music. I studied him pretty, uh, you know, thoroughly and tried to get his phrasings down and, and his tone as, as much as I could. And um, that was really it, you know, just playing his music a ton over and over and really like focusing on one or two songs to try to get those down and then just letting the rest kind of come. Um, and it's definitely gotten better over, you know, I've done it hundreds and hundreds of times now, this show. So I think, you know, the more I do it, the more I could, you know, uh, you know, you, when you're not worrying about your lines and where you're going on stage, it's easier to get into like the real, like small uh, details of his voice. So that's been something that I've had a lot of fun kind of messing with over and, the years. And, and Nick, tell us about the show itself, the, A Beautiful Noise. Is It's the story of Neil Diamond through his whole life? Yeah, so it's um, without giving too much away. Uh, it's there's there's two uh, actors playing Neil Diamond, Neil Diamond then and Neil Diamond now currently. And the current situation you see Neil Diamond in is in a therapy session. Uh, it's you know taking place within the last say you know eight years or so, and he's speaking to a therapist about some issues he's having, and um, and it's him looking back uh, kind of through his music and his career you know, while talking to a therapist. And when he's looking back, he's envisioning his his past life, starting from his beginning songwriting days all the way through his, you know, huge stadium tours. And uh, it's a really interesting way to, to tell a story that was never told before. Neil doesn't have a book or a movie. This is the way he wanted it to be told. And um, it's a really well done, beautiful story. But you also get this, like, you know, amazing, like, rock show within a play kind of it's, it's pretty awesome how it's done right yeah not only are you acting but you're also giving a concert too and what a production yeah that is so cool yep. what is one yeah, of your favorite of songs that you play nick um well there's a lot i mean uh there's a really cool moment in the show where he's neil's uh kind of making his his debut as an artist at the bitter end which is a famous uh bar in new york that i've actually played at and tons of hundreds and thousands of huge songwriters have been there but uh he has this moment in the bitter end and he sings like a very broken down version of solitary man oh, and i, love uh, that I really song. like that moment and then of course i mean when you get to do sweet caroline the place goes berserk that's always fun too. and of course there's audience participation yeah we allow it in sweet caroline <laughs> <laughs> what is it like to be in at the bushnell in front of your home state your home crowd it's going to be special. I mean, I feel like I've played almost every venue that you could possibly play in Connecticut, but I've never played the Bushnell. Ah. So uh, I'm really, uh, I'm really excited. And I mean, the, we've done this is our seventh show so far, our sixth show we've done on the road in Providence, and it's like a three thousand foot, uh, you know, a three thousand capacity theater, and there's not been one seat so it's been like crazy here and, oh, and so great. and i've heard connecticut is basically the same there's really not many tickets left there are some so i think you can still get some but uh it's selling amazingly i just can't wait for the hometown to or my home state to see the you know just the show i've been working on for so long so many people saw it on broadway you know from connecticut i would be at the stage door and see people from all over the state uh, oh, still wow. supporting me and, and uh, i'm excited for them to see it you know and at the bush now Cool. Wow. I, I, did you ever think in a million years that, you know, you would end up on stage doing what you're doing? I, it's so amazing the trajectory your career has really taken from American Idol on stage to now. 
Yeah, looking looking back on it, it's been pretty wild. I mean, American Idol was almost a decade ago now, which wow. still freaks me out. That was 2015. Um, so, you know, to still get the support, you know, from so many people um, around the country, and but especially, you know, still in Connecticut is, is very, you know, uh, I can get emotional just thinking about it because it's been an up and down roller coaster. And I, you know, just still thankful that, you know, I still have so many people, you know, sticking by me and supporting me and, and I get to still do music for a living, which is all I've ever wanted to do. So it's, you know, I'm, I'm very thankful. Well, you've got the way to move us, Nikki. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Thank Connecticut you. loves watching you grow up on and we wish you the best of luck as you come to the Bushnell. All right, you can catch Nick in a beautiful noise, the Neil Diamond musical at the Bushnell. Opening night is tomorrow, and it runs through October 6th. For more information or to get tickets, please visit bushnell.org. That's awesome. He's such a nice. So